The death toll from the earthquake in Nepal is now over 7,200. U.S. military aircraft arrive today, including four Ospreys, which will begin relief flights tomorrow. Many villages still have not received aid. Seth Doan is in Kathmandu. By helicopter today, we saw just how remote some of these villages are. We were traveling with the head of the United Nations World Food Program, Ertherin Cousin, as she surveyed the complicated relief operation. Eight of the 14 highest peaks in the world are here in Nepal. And so you have a terrain that makes it very difficult to reach population. Here they delivered more than 4,000 pounds of rice to hard-hit Gorkha. But landing on tough terrain can prove difficult. And with the monsoon season approaching, relief workers say it's a race against time. Earlier this week, we visited rural areas just a few hours from Kathmandu and found no relief had arrived. When you see people saying, we're not getting the aid, you're in charge, is, is that a, a failure? It's not a failure. It says we have work to do. It says that person that you talk to, yes, they may not have received the aid, but there's a person in another town over who probably did. Getting that aid on its way starts here. We are constantly, every day into the night, we are moving stock here. Deanna we Beaumont have, uh, showed us the World Food Program DHL storage facility next there. to Kathmandu's airport with its range of relief supplies. Medical items, um, shelter, there's food, um, water and sanitation equipment. It's everything you would need in those first few, few moments of the disaster. So far, they've dispatched food for 250,000 people but their goal is to feed 1.4 million. The challenge now is reaching them. Seth Doan, CBS News, Kathmandu, Nepal.